Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Niji Joe, episode number seven, reaction. Okay, the previous episode, um, we start the episode with a picture shiritori game where they were like, you know, like drawing pictures while the other person kind of guessed. And uh, Yuko was kind of bad at it. Either she made wrong pronunciations or she made like weird pictures. And it was kind of funny to see how <laughs> Mio was reacting to all the pictures and you know like that that was really good um then comes the one of the most famous clips uh, that we see in uh, most anime you laugh you lose where the principal wrestles a deer and uh, <laughs> that was weird that was um really unusual and uh, funny and that's why obviously like you know it's it's so well known to even people who have not watched this anime i'm sure like you know most of the people who watch anime and have not watched nichi joe they even they know about this clip i think so and this is one of those most famous clips and uh, <laughs> that was hilarious and i actually got to see the whole clip as to what happens after that and uh, you know yuko gets a bigger punishment because she tried to tell the people but then obviously the biggest secret the principal will come out that is he wears a wig so he tried she 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 took she took the loss she took the loss and she was like fine i'm not going to like and i'm going to sacrifice myself here and unfortunately she got punished <laughs> uh, which is sad anyways um then there was that whole section with the cockroach where uh, nano tries to make Sa sakamoto get the cockroach but she's so freaked out about the cockroach that she can't even open the hole under which the cockroach was she tries to also bring the professor to do something about it the professor just makes fun of it and you know then like you know by like you know like after what the, everything that happened there you know like she when the professor hugged her she opened the bowl and the cockroach just yeah and uh, the final section was really interesting i i really loved that portion as well where they went camping and uh, like through chain reaction all their food gets wasted but <laughs> mai on the other hand has her own st like you know supply of her her food while mio and yuko just doesn't eat anything and they they just like you know they, they like you know, it, it's a mess and in the end we get like a weird dog coming i don't know what the hell that was I, <laughs> that was really unusual a dog comes and just puts its paw on the leg of one of the girls so <laughs> let's see what happens uh this is episode number seven let's start i'll be putting the subtitles in the time right here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started hmm. okay here's the countdown three two one go oh my god what, what is this wait what Oh, such a passionate person. What is this? Wait, what? Are these elves? Um, who who is this? Aile. Oh, this is the king in the picture. Albert. Oh boy. Dolph. What the hell is happening here? <laughs> is this like some alternate universe? What? Why? Oh no. He's already risked. Okay. What? The, who, is, who is that? Wooden. Hmm. Um. 
It's like, is this like some kind of an anime that's happening? Wait, what? Okay, what is... The way he says his name. Grab the young princess. Betray! Oh, so... Ah. Okay. Where's the punchline? I'm waiting for the punchline. What? Oh, <laughs> yo. Ugh. Okay. What? <laughs> Mm. Darla. <laughs> Which is wooden cube? Oh. A kingdom. Oh boy, what? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Everything is over. Oh my god, the embarrassment. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Is he dead or something? What? Oh no, he's dead! Yo! Oh! He's dead! Good god! Wait, what? Everyone's like, wait, what are we supposed to do now? Yeah, might as well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> might as well, like, on jump ship now. <laughs> oh no. Ugh. Oh my god, what is happening here? The villain just died by tripping. Oh my god. Oh my god, he will become the new villain or something. Oh wait, that's... Both of them... Wait, what? I think one of them is a fake or something. <laughs> oh god, what is happening? Okay, please don't give it like that. That's giving me anxiety. <laughs> no. It's gonna blow away or something. Oh my god. Okay, come on. Yo. <laughs> I 
Ah! What is okay? Well, someone will find it and. Wait, what? <gasps> oh my god. I. Oh, okay, that's a really weird dream. Really? <laughs> Buy a house. You need taxes. You need to pay taxes, you know. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Last year. <laughs> yeah, don't give up. Ah. Oh no, I feel like this is like a brand. It'll be hilarious if it's a jack in the box. Oh no, never mind. Octopus was what? All right, that's. Are you a left? Okay. Oh my god. Oh boy. <laughs> Bamboo shoot. Okay. Manabu. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, wait. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> what? That's random. <coughs> Hmm. Well, vegetable. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! The principal is here. Ah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Cheetah. What a random thought. <laughs> Just ignore the principle. <laughs> what? Oh! <laughs> Yo, he, he said the wrong thing. And she just answered that. Okay. <laughs> oh! All the bamboo shoot. <laughs> Is this. 
the way they show her his excitement like bamboo should swap up <laughs> wait so she doesn't okay she didn't feel anything weird about that conversation <laughs> Ah! What is this? <laughs> oh, this one. This is a manga that the girl reads. Oh my god, the Tengu. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> The run oh my god what randomness oh she won Oh, okay. Hmm. Oh. Wait, why are they? Shouldn't they be? Okay. Well, they decided to play something else. Oh, wow. oh my god. Hmm. Imagination. What? All right, I guess. <laughs> wow, how? how can that? <laughs> okay. Running onto trends are dangerous. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> She's laughing. A strike face. Even. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the random clip. They kind of look the same, don't they? A lot same, their face. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh no, please don't do that. <laughs> That's just a, uh, you know, a, a cosplay prop or something. I'm cosplaying as a robot. You just forgot what she wanted to say? <laughs> oh no that's a magic trick she's <laughs> taking it home with her <laughs> I feel like at this point, she will have to say that she's a robot. Ah? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Last question. Yeah, she wants it. All right, answer the question. Kabang, kabang, kabang. 
Kabang, kabang. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That's a good trick question, you know? And she's gonna follow her, I think. <laughs> oh no. Um, oh my god. <coughs> wait, will something ha- Oh no. So... Oh wait. So... Yeah, she didn't- She really didn't like the key. She wanted to take it off all the time. So she can sleep properly and Toreta. <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna stick it in again. Wow. <laughs> it just leaves. <laughs> this is reminding me of Clanad, the whole Foucault situation, you know? Where Foucault gets. Wait, is it. Oh yeah! Okay, I remember. Okay, and now I remember. <laughs> yeah, what I was saying, you know, it's reminded me of the whole Granat Foucault, where she gets so happy that she just zones out. What's up, Rat? Oh, oh, oh. okay. <laughs> Ah. Uh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Even a cat knows how to play. Ba okay. All right. Let's see. <laughs> oh. Run, Sakamoto. <laughs> yes, definitely. I can do it. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, there you go. She's a he's a cat, so <laughs> oh. All right. Yeah, that's good. Coach. <laughs> Well, it's not easy being a coach, you know. Please don't throw it like that. Oh my god, there you go. <laughs> it's on the other side of the world, you can't find it anymore. Oh, these three. I think this is the first time she's actually coming in, not coming in contact with them, but... Who the... Who is this? A magician? Oh, she noticed it. Yeah, 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 she knew, realized it, okay. <laughs> Birthday present. What the? <laughs> she can't even open it. <laughs> I wonder what octopus wasabi would taste like? I don't know, I have no clue. 
she so she wasn't even able to open her present <laughs> <clears> hmm. <throat> okay. All right, let's see what the Oh, this guy, I know him. Um, Matsudaira from Gintama. Wakamoto Norio. I'm pretty sure that's Matsudaira from Gintama. I'm pretty sure that's Matsudaira from Gintama. <clears throat> Wakamoto Norio. I've heard his voice so much. The one that really, like, I remember the one, one character so much is Matsudaira from Gintama. Uh, let me check what anime he did. Okay, he, he's a very, like, you know, um, he's been voice acting for a long time. I can see it's like 1977. Okay, all right, let me see the recent ones. Um, I'm pretty sure Gintama is here. Let me see. Gintama. And there you go. Katakuriko Matsudaira. Yep. And <clears throat> who else? Um, a few others who I will be able to. Uh, case closed. Police inspector Goro Otaki. Okay. Oh, nowadays I, I can see that he doesn't do much nowadays. But... Oh, Cell. Okay, yeah, from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. Hayate. Hayate no Gotoku. Uh, the voice, the narrator. Yeah, yeah, I remember. <coughs> I used to watch Hayate quite a long time ago. Um, I haven't, I haven't read the manga completely, I think, as far as I I'd forgotten everything. Hayate was really fun. Um, I've not seen Code Geass, so I cannot say. Uh... Yeah, these are the uh, Jojo. Wait, whole horse. Oh, whole horse. Yeah, from Jojo. Okay, whole horse. There you go. Um, vicious from Cowboy Bebop. Yeah. Okay, these are the ones. All right. <clears throat> okay, so this episode it begins with ah such a such a <laughs> such a fantastic like you know beginning to this episode. Like, I'm sure this was like some kind of a something, some kind of a story. Either someone's reading a manga or someone's like watching an anime or someone's writing something. Maybe someone's imagination. I thought it was something like that. And turns out it was something like that. It was someone's dream. It was Yuko's dream. Um, <clears throat> and the reason why he, she was seeing this dream is probably because all the time she kind of wonders what that those two things are in in his head and in, in uh in mio's head i like i remember in the first episode me i was also i also kind of said that those you know things kind of look weird it looks as if they're floating in the air and uh <laughs> i'm pretty sure you also probably was quite curious about it and as they say you know things that you are curious you whenever that's like it's in your subconscious you go to sleep you you see watch dreams about it and uh <laughs> so oh my god the whole story was this 
villain, this guy, who was like, I don't know, some kind of a leader of some organization. And he was just waiting and sipping wine, just like all villains do. <laughs> and weirdly enough, in, in the, <clears throat> in the, in the, like, you know, in the walls, there was like a picture of the, the princess, the king, the queen, and he brings the king, Albert, and he's like, oh, Albert, you know, I finally have the cube. <laughs> and uh, he, he says something like, oh, there's no hope. Like, I all, like all typical villains do. He just keeps saying stuff like, oh, it's all over, Albert. You know, fi finally, I'm going to unseal the, the, the weapon or something he said. And uh, Albert was like, no, how can you do this? How can you betray me? I picked you up. I picked you up and raised you as my own. And you betray me? <laughs> you know, as usual, like, you know, like, a, like a anime plot or those, those usual tropes that we have. <laughs> oh, God. And he's like, okay, I'm, I'm finally going to unleash the uh, weapon. So <clears throat> let's go to the princess. He goes to the princess <laughs> and he's like, ah, princess, finally, I've caught you. you I know you have the, the wooden cube. Uh, give that to me. And while, <laughs> while moving to get the cube from him, he trips and dies. <laughs> he trips and he dies. I thought that he, like, you know, he just tripped and he'll be probably be very embarrassed. Like, like, the fact that he tripped in that moment itself was so embarrassing. Like, <laughs> not only that, he even died. So, well, um, <laughs> either way, something would have died at that moment. Either his, like, you know, like, I, he himself died. But if, if he was alive, his, his reputation would have died <laughs> then and there. I feel like a lot of his subordinates would be like, you know what? Yeah, that's kind of like, you know, embarrassing. Like, and I, I can't believe I'm working for this guy. I'll just resign from tomorrow. And just, you know, half of his army is just gone the next day. <laughs> oh, no. But he himself ends up dying. And <laughs> all the mob characters who doesn't even have a face, you know, those characters, all those extras. They're like, oh my god, what am I supposed to do now? Like, he's dead. So, and, and one of the, like, you know, one of them, number six. Oh my god, they even have, <laughs> they even have numbers on their hats. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's, that's funny. And number six, he is like, you know what? I have an amazing plan. Let's just jump ship. Like, yeah, what else can she, they even do? Their, their boss died. And they're like, princess, princess. And the princess is like, <laughs> yes, finally. Let, let me go to, like, you know, let's go to father. And she just, <laughs> she doesn't even pick the wooden cube, just leaves. And... Another random guy, number eight, <laughs> he finds the cube and he's like, okay, wait a minute, is this, whose cube is this? And first he was like, is this the princess's cube? And then she, he finds out the other cube and he's like, oh my God, I have both of them. I can unleash the, 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 the weapon or whatever, and I can become the ruler of this world. And you know, just like how all sensible people do, he's like, okay. I am going to have to think about this. Just like all sensible people do, he opens the window and puts it on the window pane and leans on the window, <coughs> lighting a cigarette, and he's thinking what to do. Will he be able to use this responsibly? Will he be able to become a good villain with this? But then he's like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm not cut out for this. No, this isn't for me. I'm I'm just a I'm just a ex one of those extra characters who doesn't even have a name. I only have a number on my head. So he's like, no, I'm not going to do it. And just drops the thing. <laughs> he drops the thing, and those two fall. And 
I was like, oh my god, how? What is this going towards? Like, you know, and and, and honestly speaking, I really did not un- realize that those two wooden cubes were actually Mio's things. It never came into my mind. Like, it was so random. I really did not realize it was those things. And <laughs> we see those fall into Mio's head, and Yuko, like you know, wakes up. Like, my god. <laughs> what a weird dream. Now, I guess that's the origin for her. I don't know what those are even called. Are those like hair clips? I think so. So, yeah, that's the origin of Mio's hair. The things that, like, you know, kind of tie her hair. And those, those are pretty, like, you know, dangerous stuff. And I'm <laughs> that was hilarious. I, I really did not realize how this is going to go, which direction it was going, and the way they ended it is just so random and it's, it's amazing. That was that was impressive. All right, the next one is where Yuko finds out that he she has won the lottery, and she's like, "Oh my god, this is so amazing! You know, I can buy a house." And then Neo is like. Ah, it's it's an expire like you know it, it it was previous years. And everything comes crashing down. Yuko's like, oh no, I, I I won't be able to recover. My my mental health, it's all, it's over. I won't be <laughs> getting up from this anytime soon. And Mio is like, all right, cheer up. Like it's your birthday, you know. Like here you go, a present. And Yuko is very happy. Yuko's like, oh really? Oh thank you so much opens the the present and it's a octopus wasabi i think that was it. yeah oh my god i don't even know how what that actually is how that would taste but anyways um <laughs> she's like what random thing this is <laughs> oh all right the next part um sakurai i think that was her name wasn't it um the teacher the homeroom teacher miss sakurai there you go and this guy, his name is Takasaki. Takurai and Takasaki. So this guy, I think this is the first time we see him. Um, Takasaki is like, oh, Miss Sakurai, you know that girl Yuko? You, you have to actually really, like, you know, be strict with her. Like, she, she's weird and she does weird stuff. And she always, like, you know, it's, you know, it's up to no good. So be sure to tell her properly. And Sakura is like, oh, okay, okay, I'll, I'll try to tell her. You know, she's soft-spoken, doesn't usually kind of, like, you know, kind of avoid these type of situations most of the time. So, she goes away and she almost bumps into this other teacher. <laughs> and Takasaki is saying, oh my god, like, like, I want to protect her. <laughs> she compares Sakura to the bamboo shoot in his garden. And he's like, oh my god, like, you know, like, yeah, I, I, I probably like her. And then he's like, okay, okay, I should not think of this as actually like a, in the school, you know, like I, I should be like an example for the students, not like, you know, I, I shouldn't be like this. I should like, you know, kind of get myself together. And she see, he sees the Sakura has forgotten the, the folder. He goes and gives it to her and then Sakura is like, it's not mine. <laughs> then the, the other teacher comes in and he's like, what are you doing to my folder? Uh, and then um, she she starts he starts thinking about whether you know Sakurai um, like you know likes someone she she's like she's not married obviously but does she have a boyfriend this and that he starts thinking and he's like what should I do should I should I go and ask her but then she he's like no I shouldn't you know like it's, I'm I'm supposed to be a role model not like this um, <clears throat> and <laughs> the principal comes in asks him something. And he just ignores him. I feel like the principal gets ignored by majority of the people here. Like <laughs> his mental health. I feel like <laughs> it's sad in a way. You know, like I've seen in a previous episode as well. Like one, uh, another someone, like you know, just ignored him completely when he was talking. <laughs> Anyways, and um, then he, uh, you know, the guy. What was his name? Taka. I forgot. Anyways, never mind. Um, I'm sure I'll remember his name eventually. 
he he's like okay let me ask her what her favorite food is that that is a like you know good good way to start a conversation and i can ask her multiple things about whether he she likes it fried or likes it boiled what about mushroom this and that and he's like okay let's do this you know it's, it's just a normal conversation i can easily ask someone what they like to eat and he's like are you dating someone so you know what i feel like this is one thing that happens to us multiple times like there's like two things in your head you're thinking about like two different topics and uh, like you know when someone related to the topic asks you something or you start to talk to that person you know and in your head that two topic is moving around sometimes you actually bring up the other topic kind of mix it up and you say something else to them and they're like what are you saying and then you realize like oh my god like i was thinking about two things that's why the thing that i'm not supposed to say i actually told it to that person you mix the thing up like you know like it gets mixed up i've I like it, myself it had happened to me multiple times and I'm, I'm sure like you know you guys also have uh experience about that like you know like thinking about two things and saying the wrong thing to the wrong person and he was also thinking of two things you know like if, she, if she's dating someone or and if you know what she likes to eat and that person in question is in front of him and he tells the other thing just messes up and <laughs> And I was really surprised to see you know, Sakura didn't really say. She's like, oh no, I'm not. And just leaves. And I'm like, what? Like, did she not even, you know, like be curious or be surprised at why suddenly this question? I don't know. Kind of weird. But anyways, um, when she says no, like, you know, the, the, the bamboo shoot starts sprouting up. And I guess this is like the visual representation of how he's so happy you know like and the visual representation is just bamboo shoots popping out so <laughs> and in the end uh, sakura is like oh you you also do your best takasaki takasaki that's his name and he just starts like you know getting like you know, doing some push-ups <laughs> he's so excited excessive energy you know in his in his body uh, all right then this is the helvetica standard where oh my god this was so unusual wait so the grim reaper scythe was stolen by the tengu because he wants to pawn it off to get some food <laughs> okay Ka I think there was like a word play here. He she said kono kama. Ka, I think kama that's the that's Japanese of scythe. Kama, yeah. And kama and kawa means buy something. And kawa. Okay, this is multiple things here. Kama, which is the scythe. Kawa naito means buying something. And kama the ka, kama the river, I think. No, kawa river. Yeah, kawa is the river. So Kama and Kawa and he falls and just skips like a skipping stone she just skips out and goes to the other side so yeah there was a little wordplay over there like Kama and Kawa Kama the site and Kawa the river or something I guess <laughs> and uh, yeah okay the next part of the, the whole rock pepper scissor where <laughs> Nano wins, but this time Professor just uses her hand to get her remote. <laughs> okay, now Okay, the next part. Wait, what was this part? I forgot. Um Neo and um uh, what's her name? Yuko. Oh, uh guessing what he's she's imagining. Wait, what does she even say? Carefree office lady travel diary. And she's like a little bit. Like she was thinking about it. What? What are you thinking? <laughs> a lot. Alright, then was the whole train section where they jump into the train. And uh, Yuko only gets in while Mio and 
Mai is outside and they're just laughing. Haha, you got it. We are outside. Now, I feel like this is the first time we actually saw Mai. Even though that was like a snarky little laugh, you know, still, that was like, you know, showing emotion. And like up until now, she never showed, showed any type of emotion. She's just, you know, her face is just always the same. <laughs> kind of funny. And then there was that whole Susie section where the guy starts laughing midway. <laughs> and yeah. Okay, the next part. Now here, I really didn't under realize that that was actually Mio's uh, sister. Like, I really didn't, because I, I think we saw her once and I forgot almost. So this was Mio's sister. And interesting thing, up until now, we never got to see the two, like, you know, the two main characters, like, you know, the, the two section of the story. One is Nano and um uh professor while here it's mio uh yuko and mai these two like you know group of main characters they never met each other i guess they live in the same city um they have i think passed no they never even passed each other i guess so this is the first time technically that i see that in this episode they actually make some sort of contact like mio actually saw um in by the end of it you know mio actually saw nano and uh, you know like how how her sister said that oh this you know i made this girl who has like a key behind her back so at least she knows that there's a person like this living here it's kind of interesting i wonder maybe in the future they'll actually meet each other or something who knows we'll have to wait for that like i was really under the impression that up like in this whole uh, anime they would never meet each other like you know these two like you know the characters like these two group of characters main characters will never meet each other. I thought that's how this was going to go. But maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, this uh, uh, Mio's sis uh, sister, <laughs> she sees her and obviously like, like, like a sane person, you know, she got curious about what that key was. But no person actually does what she does. She just goes and tries to yank it off or something. <laughs> Nano was very, Nano was like, what are you doing? Like, this is just an accessory, you know? And uh, she tries to make excuses. And she... <laughs> Mio's sister grabs her hand and plucks it off. And then she's like, alright, I'll, I'll take this home with me. And obviously, like, Nano can't have that. That's her hand. So she's like, okay, I'll, I can, we'll play a quiz, a little game. At first, she, she was kind of saying, like, I think which hand is it in? <laughs> she's, like, she's like it's in your bag. <laughs> the second question. Oh my god! The whole Kenta's mom brought this much apple. Kenta's mom ate this much apple. So where is the <laughs> where is the um hand? That was like a little trick question, you know. Like that that was interesting. She, she tried to trick him her but she she was like no it's in your bag <laughs> and then the final question is like what was it say the word back 10 times so yeah kabang 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 like this yeah and then here she tries to trick her again kabang what do you draw actually draw in? You know, she was saying kaban kaban kaban. So she was going to say kaban gaban, which I'm guessing is the meaning of a board. So, oh my god, like this is like multiple layers to this trick. She tricked her and actually thinking it's a board because she was talking about kaban, which in the in its like. Like the way it sounds is the same as a board in Japanese. So she says board, but she's like, no, you're wrong. It's a paper. <laughs> but she lost. So this is, this is a tricky question, the, 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 the final one. And then she's like, no, it actually belo the, the, the hand belongs to me. Give it back to me. And she's like, all right, fine. She gives it to her. And then she plucks off her key. Now, at first... I was thinking what's going to happen now because I, I didn't know like I think professor herself said something like oh that doesn't have any kind of use 
it's just like a you know like just an additional thing and uh, yeah i think I, I remember her saying something like that so I, I was sure that nothing was going to happen but for a moment i was like what, what's happening why is she just staring like that is does she really need that key but then we actually see she is actually really happy the key is gone and we've seen her say before as well how that key really is uh, a big source of hindrance for her she cannot sit properly she cannot like you know kind of lay down properly people looks at her weirdly and there is a chance of her actual identity coming out so she doesn't like that key at all so she's so happy she just goes into this weird like you know zone and just zones out and as i said this reminded me of the whole clanad fuko um you know situation where whenever fuko gets happy in clanad I, I i like you know like i'm talking about the anime clanad um whenever fuko gets happy she, she zones out and what was the name of the guy tomoya i think yeah tomoya tomoya used to do weird things to her at that moment just you know like using <laughs> straws like putting straw in her nose and stuff kind of funny <laughs> So uh, yeah, anyways, and it's a different anime I'm talking about, but yeah, and she just puts the key back and just leaves, and here we get to see that that's her sister, and we did see the sister before, but I forgot, I, most probably, and I'm like, oh, that's interesting, that means technically they do get like a, kind of had like a, like they kind of met each other, even like her sister met the other girl, so maybe the the main cast the main characters will even will meet each other in the future i don't know we'll see all right then that the the next part was the whole baseball section where nano and uh, um ah what's her name uh, professor professor was playing baseball and uh, sakamoto was just keeping an eye on them like nano throws extremely fast which almost killed sakamoto while uh, professor throws very slowly <laughs> and Sakamoto's like, what are you guys doing? And Professor's like, okay, so you play, but he he's a cat. He cannot play with a bat. Okay, that rhymed. <laughs> so yeah, what do you do, do to a cat? You give her a give a cat a ball. So the ball, he was just so happy with the ball, just playing with it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, in the end, Sakamoto was like. All right, so fine. You like you guys play like, and and they are like, like you know, calling him the coach and everything. You know what I'm really confused about? How does a cat know a baseball game rule? I'm really confused about that. Like, <laughs> how? How is that possible? <laughs> oh God! But anyways, Sakamoto is an intelligent cat, so who knows? Maybe he does know. Like, what am I to say? You know, like we don't know what cats are thinking. Maybe cats do know about baseball rules. Like, you know, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah, like it can be. You know, like there's, there's no proof. Where is it? Where is like there's no proof that a cat doesn't know a baseball game rule. Maybe, maybe when like you know someone is watching a baseball game, and maybe when their pet cat comes and just sits beside them and looks at the television. Maybe that's when they get to know, know about the rules about baseball, you know, and maybe like you know that that cat probably like went around <laughs> his his neighborhood, like you know, telling his other cat cat friends like you know what like you know today I knew like you know got got to know about a new game and its rules, and that's how it started <laughs> getting <laughs> spread out, and so all the cats knows the rules of baseball. Maybe maybe that's how it goes. Who knows how? What, what am I to say? You know, like we. <laughs> I, oh my god, I don't know where I'm going. I'm even going with this. But anyways. <laughs> so yeah, Sakamoto is like, Alright, I'll be your coach. And they start playing. And Nano just throws the ball so high, it just vanishes. And while trying to find the ball, here, Nano watches those three, the three main characters. They're going back from school. And she looks at them, and when she looks away trying to find a ball this random magician dude comes in just with the ball <laughs> and here Mio realizes and watches Nano and realizes that this was the girl that her sister was talking about so that's what I'm saying you know like they I, I guess they did like have kind of an interaction 
maybe in the future they will actually meet each other and talk which will be interesting because i don't know why but i i thought that they would never meet each other like that's how this anime is going to go you know that there's two sets of main characters and they would never meet each other i thought that's how this was going to go i don't know why but <laughs> probably not they will probably meet each other that'll be interesting to see like, you know and in the end we see yuko trying very hard to open her present the octopus wasabi unfortunately she can't even open it so that's a shame <laughs> that's it thanks for watching this is my reaction to um nichi joe episode number seven really good episode um funny as always so yeah so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel if you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out that's it thanks for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of nichi joe until then, goodbye and have a nice day.